Hi everybody, Honest John here. Last week, the Atlanta Music Festival was canceled. And the reason for this is that the Republicans who control the government in Georgia and their zeal to please the gun lobby and gun nuts have passed a law making it illegal to ban guns on public property. And there are very few private venues that are able to host an event like the Atlanta Music Festival. You need a big space, you need a park, you need a fairgrounds, something like that. Because you're bringing in a whole lot of people. So the private spaces there are that could ban guns are not able to host a festival like that. And this is only the first of a bunch of different events that are going to have to be canceled because the organizers of these festivals recognize that you just can't have a bunch of armed people wandering around in the fairgrounds or in a park with a huge crowd because sooner or later somebody's going to open fire and you're going to have a mass murder and there's all kinds of legal problems and other type of problems that come with that. So. I mean, it's not like the organizers of these festivals are going to just stop doing it. They're just going to move them to states with uh, more sane and sensible gun laws. The state of uh, North Carolina, as a matter of fact, as soon as they heard that the festival got canceled, tweeted out at the festival organizers, bring your festival up here. You can hold it safely. So, what you're going to see is a bunch of, of outdoor festivals, arts festivals, music festivals, fairs that uh, need to be held in public spaces are going to be moving out of the red states into the blue states and the battleground states where there are more sensible and sane gun laws. And by the way, this is going to cost the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia millions of dollars. People come from all over to visit those festivals. They spend a lot of money. They rent hotel rooms. They patronize the local businesses. And the local businesses also set up booths and the fairgrounds where the festival is being held. So a lot of money changes hands. So what you're going to see next summer is a bunch of festivals that were held at all different places in the country moving to the blue states and the battleground states where the gun laws are a lot more sensible. Meanwhile, the red states, I guess they could have a gun festival. I'd love to see them do that. Thanks for listening.